Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you all for being here today. We're here to discuss an exciting time for the city of Shreveport. In mid-April, we welcomed entertainment mogul Curtis 50 Cent Jackson to Shreveport as he signed the lease on the former Millennium Studios facility, marking the beginning of the activities of G-Unit Film and Television Studios in Shreveport. During this momentous occasion, Mr. Jackson proclaimed, all roads lead to Shreveport. Since that day, Mr. Jackson has made significant investments in our city by purchasing several properties, demonstrating his commitment to becoming a part of this great city. Shortly after sealing the deal, he expressed his desire to introduce Shreveport to the world through an event called Humor and Harmony. What we have witnessed in the nearly three months since that time is nothing short of miraculous. Mr. Jackson and his dedicated team, as well as a virtual army of city directors and employees, have been tirelessly working to plan an amazing event that will kick off this Thursday. One of Mr. Jackson's primary goals was to ensure that every aspect of this endeavor adheres to our city's ordinances and regulations. With that commitment in mind, Mr. Jackson and his team have engaged in numerous meetings, too many to count, really, with department heads from across the city to ensure compliance and to lean on their years of experience to make this event a resounding success. The city of Shreveport has been more than happy to lend a helping hand wherever possible to ensure that Humor and Harmony is a successful event for G-Unit Studios and for the city of Shreveport. I was gonna say behind me, but really beside me, <laughs> Beside me, you see just a few of the dedicated men and women from across our city and from outside agencies that have been working nearly around the clock to ensure the success of this event. They have been involved in various aspects, including leasing venues, organizing trash pickup, setting up cooling stations, ensuring safety and security, and running shuttles for our citizens. These individuals have proven they are the most skilled and capable of people anywhere putting on these kinds of events, and we are incredibly proud of their efforts. We know that everyone has questions, and we're here today to provide answers and to talk about the steps the city is taking to support humor and harmony. Shreveport is a city of talent, innovation, and community spirit, and this event is a testament to what can be achieved when we come together with a shared vision. We look forward to welcoming everyone to Humor and Harmony and to showcasing the best of what Shreveport has to offer. And now I'd like to bring up the SPAR director, Shelly Regal. Shelly. Again, thank you, Mayor. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. So over the last eight w weeks, department heads, um, staff personnel from each of those departments have been meeting weekly and they'll laugh and say weekly it's been more like a every day it feels like we have met we have talked we have visited to help to coordinate this event in the city just like we do for any other event like the Independence Bowl Red River Revel like the Good Times Roll any major event that we have in our community we work together to facilitate those events this event is no different. We've been talking about how do you properly produce a multiple day, multiple event of activity along with everything else that's happened in our city that weekend. We have worked very hard with others in our community to be sure that we make this weekend as easy as possible. We've worked with the farmer's market to ensure that they're still going to happen this weekend There'll be a little bit of change in the location. They will be set up closer to Clyde Fant Parkway. They will also have some vendors in Riverview Hall. And as one person said, thank you, it's August. It's gonna be nice to go in Riverview Hall for Farmer's Market. We will also have parking at between the J. Bennett Johnson's Visitor Center and Southport. You will also be able to park across the street. You'll be able to park at the casino parking garages. And as a citizen here, you know the best way to get to this location is Clyde Fant Parkway. We're gonna encourage you to use the parkway. 
We also met with people like the aquarium, Southport, um, people who are having events in Riverview Hall, our casino owners, um, other business owners, such as our utility companies. And right now, I guess what goes on my mind, they're coming through at the last minute, so we want to thank them for some help they're giving us on power. We have met on cleanup, as the mayor said. Not only are we getting our city wide cleaned up, just like when your mom used to make you get ready for company, that's exactly what we do before any major event. We're doing that all over town. But we've also met to talk about what we're gonna do daily in cooperation with DDA, SPAR, Public Works, and Property Standards. We each have a section of downtown that we'll tackle each morning. So when people come to work every day, they'll think, well, did it go on last night? Because it's so clean. So we're gonna be working really hard to have our downtown stay as clean as possible. We've also been working on environmental services for many of the venues. We've helped develop the needed IT infrastructure for the event operations and for the people who are attending the events. Every, every responsible department diligently worked to help GUNI to step through all the permitting procedures and requirements for temp such as temporary building permits, ABO license, amusement permits, and even our event permits that all of you are familiar with. There have been a lot more inquiries about vendors than vendor opportunities. Please be sure that if you're planning to set up downtown, you have all required license, permits, and permission. Also, we are fortunate to have many of our community businesses helping us this weekend. Uber and Lyft have reached out, and there's a designated lot for rideshare, as you can see from the map. This is a convenient location close to all the activities. It's secure and well lit. Another one of those businesses is Douglas Parking who have their parking lots available for the weekend. The map shows the location of over 4,800 parking spaces available in downtown. There will be a fee for these spaces, but all metered and at parking on the street will be available at no cost. And in addition, the city's offering a shuttle. And here to tell you all about that is Executive Director Sportran Danero Washington. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here this evening. Thank you, Shelly, for all the work you've been doing to support us. So one of the great things we had the opportunity to do is work with G-Unit's team as well as the city of Shreveport to look at how we produce transportation for um, the city and the Human Harmony Festival. So I am happy to report that we're going to be putting on four dedicated routes that will produce the service that is needed to be able to bring the masses into Shreveport, to downtown, as well as to Municipal Auditorium. So the main route we will be focused on is going to be our entertainment express route. Our entertainment express route will focus on how do we transport people throughout the casino district, the entertainment district, and also Bolger's uh, inter uh, casino district. So if you're staying at one of the hotels, we highly encourage you to out and take the shuttles that will be located right outside of your hotel to be able to get to any destination that is a part of this festival. Uh, that will be located on Entertainment Express. We will have a major transfer hub that will be located in downtown at Riverview Hall as a part of this transportation plan. Major stops are Bally's Casino, Samstown, the Shreveport Convention uh, Hotel, and Hilton. Uh, we are also crossing the bridge. We are serving Margaritaville, Hilton, Horseshoe, and Boomtown as a part of the Entertainment Express route. There will be some smaller stops that are along the way, along with Festival Plaza on the Entertainment Express route. One of the major things we want to talk about is we, we hear about there's parking downtown, but we want to encourage everyone to park at Mall St. Vincent. That is who the city has worked with to in ensure that we have enough parking spots to get the people to downtown. We don't want people circling and not getting to the entertainment and not getting to your show on time. So we have brought in a dedicated fleet working with our staff in order to make sure we ensure that you have the public transportation that you need. The shuttles are free, parking is free. Um, so we ask that you park at St. Vincent Mall. We will shuttle you down. The Entertainment Express will run about every three to five minutes to every stop. And we're saying we'll be at St. Vincent Mall about every 10 to 12 minutes to make sure that you are back and forth to your destination. We also have dedicated routes out of downtown during the times of the uh, comedy show and the concert that will direct you to the uh, Municipal Auditorium. There's also a direct Bolger Express that's coming from those hotels that you will be able to take that's in addition to the Entertainment Express route that will give you transportation to those locations. So 
we want to highly encourage you. There will be very limited parking. I just got out of a meeting about how we're going to be blocking off roads in downtown. So there will be parking available, but there will be very limited ways to get there. So we ask that you take the shuttles. Mall St. Vincent is our major location on the old Sears end. Uh, we'll be set up right there at the old Sears pickup, which is where our pickup is going to be under the canopy where you would pick up your old washers and dryers and lawnmowers. We'll be located there and we'll be your new bus pickup zone for the Human and Harmony Festival. If there's any questions, we'll be happy to answer those at the end. it will be bringing my great pleasure to bring up Chief Smith at this point to talk about what the police department is doing as part of this process. It has been an awesome pleasure working with uh, G Unit and their staff with all of my fellow co-workers and outside partners to help make this event the success that it's going to be. Uh, beginning on the 5th, August the 5th, parts of Commerce Street will be closed and it will be closed uh, for the remainder of the event. Uh, throughout that entertainment area, uh, there'll be various streets that are closed uh, from about 4 p.m. in the afternoon until 6 a.m. in the morning and they will reopen uh, to normal traffic. Uh, a lot has been put into preparing for this. Uh, for, for us, it's been like a, a Mardi Gras and an Independence Bowl and a Rebel and everything combined together. And thanks so much to all of our uh, community partners that have stepped in to help us out with this event. On any given day during this entire time, there will be 150 plus police officers in this area uh, around the venue. And as we uh, go into it and we evaluate how things are going, uh, it could be even more than that. Uh, but thanks so much to uh, G Unit, who has been so wonderful to work with, uh, who understands our security concerns and has uh, been so graciously uh, agreeing to, to pay for things. Uh, some of the things that technology that we're using, uh, we'll have 11 camera trailers that'll be strategically posted uh, around this venue. Three of them the police department actually owns, uh, one that is owned by G Unit, and seven others that'll be leased or rented uh, for the for this, this this period. We're so happy to see that. But in addition to that, uh, we have around 20 upward cameras that the city of Shreveport own that is placed in the downtown area. As you ride through, you'll see some of the newer models. You'll see the lights flashing on to alert you that you uh, are being watched. Uh, beside that, there's a host of others I uh, don't know exactly how many that are privately owned by businesses uh, and other people who have integrated with the Real Time Crime Center. During this entire event, extra uh, employees will be brought on board in the Real Time Crime Center specifically to sit there and monitor uh, what's going on in our downtown area and to alert the police that are present of any potential hazards uh, that they may see. We're looking forward to the event. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Uh, following this, if you have further questions uh, afterward, I'll be happy uh, to take them. But right now, I'm going to introduce uh, the fire chief, Police Karen Reese, and he can tell you about what the Shreveport Fire Department has been doing to prepare. Good afternoon. Shreveport Fire Department has uh, been, especially with the name of this uh, Humor and Harmony, we've been in several meetings. Some of them have been very humorous, uh, but we've also seen uh, the harmony that takes place between all the agencies that are working. Shreveport Fire Department will be manning, uh, strategically located uh, throughout the downtown area, uh, manning a cooling station, uh, which will be on the side of GG's in an empty uh, parking lot right there by the uh, Red River Bridge or by the Texas Street Bridge. Uh, we'll have water there uh, and, a, and a tent. Uh, we will have people all throughout dressed in their regular everyday outfit. If you see something, uh, you notice anything, we will have our fire prevention officers, uh, which are also bomb techs, 
Uh, they will be located all throughout. If you see anything that looks suspicious, please notify a police officer or Shreveport Fire Department uh, member. There will be no lack of services uh, to our citizens in the uh, downtown area. This event is contained to where we can handle everything. Uh, during those normal operating hours, we will have roughly 20 to 30 members at all times downtown during those operating hours. I'd like to thank the uh, Homeland Security uh, under the Sheriff's Office, also the State Fire Marshal, uh, and neighboring agencies have uh, offered to help as much as possible during this event. Uh, if there are no other, if there are no questions for the fire department at the end, uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce uh, General Manager Ms. Marla from ASM Global, who manages Municipal and the Convention Center. Good afternoon, Shreveport. First off, I would like to thank everyone for being here today. I also would like to thank uh, Mayor Arsenault and uh, the Shreveport City Council uh, for inviting me to represent and this wonderful team that has worked together. I feel like we're family <laughs> at this point. Um, on behalf of ASM Global, the Shreveport Convention Center and the historic Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, our entire team and I are excited and thrilled to be a part of the historic weekend in Shreveport history. The Humor Harmony Festival beginning with the Big Bowl Comedy Show on Thursday, August 8th, the Celebrity Basketball Game on Friday, August 9th, the 50 Cent and DJ Envy Drive Your Dream Car Show, um, which will be Saturday and Sunday, and um, also, the, also the Drive Your Dream uh, Show on Sunday. We have some security measures that will be set in place at all venues during Humor and Harmony Weekend. At the entrance for all events, there will be metal detectors as well as one in bag checks. Any and all bags must be clear and no, large, no larger than six inches by nine inches. Diaper bags are allowed, must be clear as well. There will be no professional cameras or equipment allowed in the venues, no weapons of any kind, nor any sharp items, including but not limited to pocket knives, wallet chains, and any other self-defenses. If brought on the premises, they will be discarded or you will be asked to take it back to your vehicle. So if you're traveling through shuttle, please make sure you leave those items in your car. No drugs or drug par paraphernalia or any kind will be allowed in the venues. Lastly, no outside food and beverages will be allowed into any venue. These will be the standards and procedures for entry at the Shreveport Convention Center, Municipal Auditorium, and Stage Works of Louisiana and Festival Plaza. Our entire ASM Global team is delighted and thrilled for the partnership of the City of Shreveport, 50 Cent, and the G-Unit team. We are excited for the History and Humor Harmony Festival weekend, and we are diligently working to make sure everyone this weekend has a wonderful time. Thank you. No, I want to. I want to make sure and acknowledge the cooperation and today the presence of Sheriff Henry Whitehorn. Sheriff, thank you for being here, and Marshal James Jefferson, City Marshal James Jefferson, and Councilman Gary Brooks, in whose district this is taking place. So I want to make sure you're all aware of that. Uh, am I? Am I last? Have we got anybody else? Okay. Well, then we'll be glad to answer any questions that you have, John. <laughs> the answer is uh, yes, there will be uh, sanitation facilities that are available and they've uh, brought in some extras as a matter of fact. Yes, Adam. With so many resources being dedicated to downtown, how can you be assured such that we get fully discussed and the rest of the city is really strengthened and you know, taken care of the right way? So We're treating this very much like we, like we treat a Mardi Gras parade and so we've got the extra resources available. Uh, probation and parole, the sheriff's office, and private security firms are aiding in our security. Are we, gonna, are we expecting overtime for uh, employees of the city who are going to be working, you know, elsewhere in the city while you know police resources are deployed downtown? Uh, that you'll that I'll have to ask uh, <coughs> Chief Smith. I, I will tell you that the overtime and security that are part of this event are being paid for by G Unit. The mayor is exactly correct. Uh, we are not uh, diminishing services anywhere in our city, the same amount of police officers that are assigned to patrol 
your communities. We'll be assigned to patrol your communities during this event. Uh, if that was your day off, guess what? That has changed. <laughs> uh, and thanks to our, our partners, the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Department, the City Marshal's Office, Parole and Probation, Louisiana State Police, all have come to our aid uh, and agreed to help us during this event. So the 150 plus that I mentioned uh, that's going to be boots on the ground every day is not just SPD. It's a combination of all of our community partners working together. And we actually enjoy these kind of events. We trained for events. That's how we respond to emergency events. And this gives us an awesome opportunity in coordination to train for whatever event that may come our way, whether it be a major disaster or whether it be uh, an awesome having a good time weekend like, uh, like what's coming. Other questions? Yes, sir. That's a really good question. This is the first time we've done this, so uh, it'll be a little hard to, uh, to guess, uh, but I, I would expect uh, somewhere in the range of 30,000, maybe more, uh, in, this, uh, in this area attending the various events. And that, 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 that's the Tom Arsenault guess. <laughs> we're, sti we're, st we're still working on it. We don't know the answer yet. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what is the rule and regulation that a city seeks to include? Shall we? So everybody who um, had already previously secured their license through the MPC to be a food vendor, you had to go through that process. There's a process at the city that you go through. It not only gives you a permit to operate, but it also ensures that you've gone through the health department, you've gone through the tax department, everybody that has to know before you get that license. Once you were licensed, that list was shared, and I know that Orville is here, but food vendors have been reached out to for the festival, so if you haven't heard from them, um, they have, they've secured, I think, the, the ones they are using. Just as a reminder, as I said earlier, there are some places that are d on private property who are going to have food vendors on their private property, you still have to be licensed by all of those people we said. And we've already had a call from the tax office. They'll be working the entire time. <laughs> so be prepared for that. But if you're on private property, you do not have to have permission from the city. But the minute you get on the sidewalk or street, you have to have a permit to be there from the city or from DDA. The license you get to operate comes through the MPC. All right. I've got one. What about other costs for the city? You talk about the, the cost of SPD, overtime, the cleaning and time spent picking up. What about costs for other kinds of art, public works, other things? And Romero, you actually said that we're currently putting in a dedicated street for some of these ramps. Um, is that a cost that you're having to pay? No, all of, all of those additional costs that are identifiable will be paid by GB. ShreveportLA.gov. Mayor, is somebody yes. watching or asking about if we have a vehicle spared? You talked about all of the types of operations. Is that going on the EO the whole time, all of the things? Uh, on, on the lots that are designated that are free, we will have, we will have security uh, there. Uh, on the lots that are paid, that's, their, that's the owner's responsibility to maintain security there. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, 
We haven't gone through that yet, Bubba. <laughs> so I don't. I, I, the answer to that is no, as of now. Other questions? Thank you all very much. I appreciate you being here.